All right, I'll see you guys in a couple of days. Where are you going? I'm off to take pictures of lesbian butts. What? Joe and Quagmire and I are making a coffee table book called Lesbian Butts in 80s Jeans. I already got the first chapter right here. Where'd you take all these pictures? You know, coffee houses, Chevy dealerships, all the usual places. Peter, you're not doing that. I got a ton of errands to run, and I need your help around here. Well, fine. If I can't do the book, I'm gonna hurt something you love. <laughs> you happy now? Maybe we should discuss this in the other room. I don't like fighting in front of the kids. No, I want to fight in front of the kids. I feed off the excitement of an audience. Yeah, Petey's Funhouse is actually replacing the bad audio basement show. And once the hot glue dries, your birdhouse will be complete. All right, Stewie, since Lois says I got to keep an eye on you, we might as well have some father-son time. So I'm going to measure your penis, and then I'm going to measure my penis, and we're going to see whose is bigger. Doesn't really seem fair. All right, let's see what you got. Stupid game, anyway. Good to have some alone time. You know, I spent a year alone on a desert island with nothing but a monkey to keep me company. You're saved, sir. We're gonna get you back to civilization. And how about we bring along your monkey pal? Okay. Yeah, we can teach him sign language, and he can tell us stories about what you two did on the island together. No, 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 let's, let's not, let's not bring the monkey. Um, I'll be like an Italian mom without bad kids. Hey, 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 what the hell is all the commotion in here? We're not doing anything. You getting fresh with me? I'm tired of bailing both of you out of prison. We're both in college, and we consistently make the dean's list. I'm telling your father. Good. Now, children, we're going to learn who wears a hat. Can a fireman wear a hat? No. Yes. Yes. Can a policeman wear a hat? No way. Yes. Yeah, 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 yes, yes, he can, I knew that. Now, you at home, tell me, who else wears a hat? A very formal horse? Very good. Even a bowling ball can wear a hat if you use your imagination. <laughs> a bowling ball wearing a hat? This is what high def was invented for. This be how twins who were separated at birth feel when they first meet. Trade house keys, bang each other's wives? Yep. Where the hell is our food? Yeah, where are mom and dad? And where's that awesome finger painting Stewie did this morning? Oh, here it is. Thank you for bringing it up. I wasn't going to bring it up. This area is known as a hallway. Don't worry, you'll pick up on all the technical doctor jargon pretty soon. Hey, is it prescription or prescription? I think it's prescription. Prescription. Uh, that, just, that just feels weird in my mouth. Prescription is better. Oh, and there's the ER. Don't go in there unless you want everyone to yell at you. Son of a bitch, I gotta spend the rest of the day watching stupid kid shows? I'd rather watch paint dry. Nice. Now, how many of you kids out there have ever gotten bullied? Aw, oh, come on up here and tell us about it, champ. Well, my name is Winston, and I'm quite fond of ballet. One time, I tried out for Little League in my ballet shoes, and the other kids made so much fun of me, I wet my pants. What? Wait, what? Like pee? How old were you? Eight. Ah, too old. Too old to be peeing yourself, baby pee pants. <gasps> All right, you kids finish him off. To begin, your friend Petey wants to sing you a song. What makes you so special? The fact that you are special. But if everybody's special, that kind of waters it down. So some of you ain't special. I can tell you who is special. Like you and you ain't special, and you are and you're not. 